Hi everyone, today I'm doing a scope walk or risk assessment for the Adventure Geek Club um, and we're starting off at the village of Lamport. Um, Lamport Hall is literally just around the corner and looking at the views it's going to be a good one. The whole walk is approximately about six and a half miles and we're going to visit the small village of Faxton as well, never been there at all. So just discovering all these fantastic places in Northamptonshire. So, right, come along with us for the journey and we'll see what this one brings. So we're one and a half miles in, we've done lots of field walking um, on a lovely bridal path. So, so far no styles, uh, a few gates, we're just going across some gates now, seeing some loads of things that people shoot, pheasants and uh, yeah, so far so good. Lovely walk, fantastic views guys, so let me show you the views. Every time yeah. Alright, so um, long trousers on this one folks. Uh, We're on an adventure. We're going on a bear hunt. <laughs> We're going to find a go. big one. <laughs> Claire. <laughs> Claire's leaning away. Okay, so quick update, um, we had to go through a couple of fields there and a couple of styles, not dog friendly styles unfortunately, um, then it was a little bit overgrown as you just saw in the video, but that's a really short little dinky bit, so bring poles if you want to knock that out of the way, hopefully by the time we walk this it will be cut down, lovely, can you hear the birds in the background? Uh, but the views on this uh, particular walk are phenomenal. Absolutely brilliant, love it. Okay, so we had to come through that dinky little gap in the fence there, which we all missed to start with. Um, and then we've got this fence that we had to cross over, but there is an electric fence. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely on. And the reason it's on is because, I don't know if you can see here, because the light's bad, there are cows and horses in this field. Okay, so four miles in, so it's a bit windy, and we've just meet, reached the village of Flaxton. Uh, you come out at a lovely little um, park down there where we crossed the field with horses. Horses came running over, so if you don't like horses, uh, this might not be the walk for you. There were four cows on there, but I was, I was okay, and they did come over, but they were absolutely fine. A little bit inquisitive, but apart from that, I think it's mainly because we've got like two dogs with us. And we just come out on this gorgeous cricket pitch. Uh, which you can just imagine in the summer cricket play and sitting there reading your book perhaps a glass of pims in your hand um so yes this is absolutely a lovely little village so we're going to work our way through here and then back to uh the star back at lamport so uh see you in a bit we're just trying to figure out how the car actually got in there Better just to Sorry, walk up quickly and do it. Well, I have thought so. But she's determined she's coming down this way and that's even higher. George, it's going to be Right, last little stretch now. We've done about six and a half miles plus a bit extra because we got lost on a couple of occasions which is the reason we do this so that you guys don't get lost when we actually take you on this route uh, and we're now in the lovely village of uh, Lamport so we're doing a bit of a loop through Lamport and back to the beginning so a uh, fantastic route so far and I'll do a bit of a roundup when we get back so I'm just saying I think we've all agreed that this is definitely a no dog uh, walk so small dogs might be okay but it's a bit of a distance as well um, so we've got some gorgeous villages some fantastic views lots and lots of styles not too many kissing gates but uh, yeah a really nice walk but it is hard work so uh, not too many hills or anything like that it's fairly flat yeah overall a good walk good walk guys good walk. Yes. Yep. Cool.